Hey guys, how are we all doing? It's Cam back to you again, and today we're checking out a really cool, unique Charvel Sandima, seen here in old yellow, brand new for 2020. So what makes this Charvel different from any other? This particular Sandimus obviously has the sandblasted ash effect, which I think is so cool. That makes every single guitar done with this finish completely unique because of the grain. So if you buy one, there is no other like it, which I think is really, really cool. And this particular one is really, really grainy. <laughs> Hence, a lots and lots of yellow. You get some others which are not as grainy and it has more like a tiger stripe look, which I think is really, really cool. And... This particular guitar does sound very, very different. It's a very bright guitar all around. And also, another unique thing with this guitar, it's the first Charvel I've played made in Korea. And I own the Mexican Charvels. I don't own a US one, but I've played many. And in terms of the way they feel, they're so incredibly consistent across the whole range. It doesn't matter what you spend, they all feel more or less the same. <laughs> In terms of the tonality of this guitar, as I said, it's a very, very bright guitar. Uh, I don't know if that's the Ash body making a difference, but also another unique feature to this guitar is, in terms of the Sandimus I'm saying here, you get the full shred in the bridge and the Alnico 2 Pro from Seymour Duncan, with, as, as opposed to the Seymour Duncan JB and 59. And they're less powerful pickups, these are, and in my opinion, it makes the single coil sounds stand out a little bit more and a little bit more shiny, a little bit more pokey in a mix, which I think is really, really cool. They've gotten rid of the no load tone knob on this one, which I think is really cool. And in terms of the way it plays, it's absolutely awesome. I can't fault it. This was very kindly sent to me by the folks at Charvel. Um, and I seem to be a bit of a Charvel connoisseur, it would seem. I know many, and they're really, really great guitars. And I have to say with this particular one, I don't know if this was the plan, but the neck is a lot thinner, a lot thinner, and it feels awesome, really, really love it. Um, we have an ebony fingerboard, thumb wheel truss rod adjustment, FRT 1000 that's fully recessed, stays in tune, no problem at all, just a stunner all around, it absolutely explodes. In terms of the way this looks, not only does it look awesome, but it feels awesome. It's got a rough texture running around it. I'll try, if I scrape my nails along it, you can hear the the roughness of the grain for it. This isn't an ASMR video, but it's that kind of, that feel, you've got the sort of rough grain running along the back. I love that, it's really, really nice. I don't know how they do it, but it's absolutely killer. In terms of my setup today, I am playing through a Yamaha THR32, with no post mixing or anything like that, just raw guitar and amp, and that's all it is. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you enjoyed this guitar, please leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if you're digging me enough, smash that like button and subscribe as well. I look forward to seeing you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.